ang pagkatao ay hindi yan na, na nasusukat kung ilan ang ang kurso mo na nakamtan, ilang medalya ang na natanggap mo, pero yan masusukat kung paano mo ibigay ang yung sarili sa kapwa mo, lalong lalo na sa nangangailangan ng tulong. So, education for me is very important. And it's such a life that is a especially that this is not yet a very progressive city. So, if I do not try my best to study, maybe, I don't know, it's either mag-drive ko grakal or Pagdating ko dito ng first year, wala talaga akong kakilala. Pagkatapos, pagka second year, uh, hindi ako nakapagpatuloy dahil uh, kasi uh, nagkasakit yung mama ko. Tapos, uh, bumalik ako pagka, ano, pagka sumod na taon kasi uh, namatay na siya. Tapos, uh, nagkaroon ako ng time na makabalik. Education is the only thing that can elevate Filipinos from poverty. I don't know if I don't study hard, maybe. <laughs> Naglibod ko sa terminal o mga bingka, mga junk foods, or either nag-drive ko o sikad, or I don't know. Basta, for me, life without education is really very hard. And I'm thanking God that luckily I am now, or near, or at the finish line. Education is very important to me because this is the only thing that cannot be stolen from me. Education does not stop when you graduate from college. It is actually just a start of a future you want to build for yourself and for your family. Because in learning, you will teach, and in teaching, you will learn. The best teacher in the world is a, a teacher who teaches with a heart, with a big heart. Nung bata ako, pasaway ako masyado sa aking guro. Kaya sa so, naisipan ko, hindi madali. Yung ginagawa ko noon. Teachers are engineers of young minds. I really like to be a teacher kay maybe because I always saw my teacher as my mother. I like the way she teach. I've learned a lot from her. Because I love teaching because I can see myself in 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 my student. Simula pagkabata, nakikita ko na yung sarili ko bilang isang guro. Ako, ang binawag mo graduate ako, pero wa ko ga-expect nga mag-graduate ko as a magna cum laude. Okay. Nung una naman talaga, hindi ko naman talaga ginusto itong education eh. Pero sabi nga nila, lahat naman ng bagay, di ba natututunan? Kinitunan akong gibuhat for my family, for my future, and because I want to have a bright future and want to end the poverty in this generation. This is what every Filipino needs to be educated and to compete with the challenges of the real world. It serves as my vehicle or my weapon in achieving my dreams and my in fulfilling all my goals in life. Education is the only way for us Filipinos to excel in all areas. Education was not my first love, but I learned to love it along the way. Kagaya ng kanta, mahal ko o mahal ako. Bali yung mahal ko is mass communication at mahal ako ng education. I can imagine myself na naka-uniform, nagtuturo, uh, nagdadala ng libro at shop. I can relate myself in all my learners so I could remanage how I was before. Loner, full of dreams. When I was accidentally pregnant, um, at the age of uh, 17, my whole life was changed. I have to, uh, I need to stop my studies because I have to take good care of my pregnancy. At that time, wala pa dito isaktong direction ang aking life. This is for my son's future. This is not all about me now. I am proud to be an education student na nakabot siya fourth year. You don't really have to be smart as long as 
you want to learn, you can learn. The least, the last, and the lost. Make them number one, make them the best, and make them shine. Ah, uh, ma, kung nasaan ka man ngayon, uh, patulad ng sinabi mo na kapag wala ka na, makakapagpatuloy na ako sa pag-aaral, pinupad ko talaga at graduate na ako ngayong March. It enables us to see at wala na. <laughs> I, I started to love teaching and I, I could say that um, teaching is my vocation and teaching and to teach um, young minds is my mission. Chica! <laughs> 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 <laughs>